The sector of banking and financial institutions is special when it comes to analytics and business intelligence. Special in the sense that people from all levels of the organization not only require to have insight on consolidated level, but mostly also require to have insights on the individual transaction level of banking records. With dedicated teams for the industry of banking and financial institutions, SAP has a huge amount of experience, knowledge and capabilities. My name is Ivo van der Zand. Imagine I am one of the banking managers and I'm looking into my management dashboard that gives me insight on the performance of the income statement with the different line items listed over here. In this example, split it for Q4 and Q1. And I have my metrics, return on equity, listed in front of me with color coding weightings indicating the trends going up, green, staying stable, orange, or going down wet. I also have an overview of the liquidity risk ratios and on your top right hand side, I can perfectly see my profitability split it up per contribution margin with a top five ranking. I can tick the individual bars and you will see on my right hand side, the top five customers per contribution margin sector um, coming up and uh, indicated on the screen. Right hand side, I can perfectly see the insights on risk management and I can see, for example, with a color coded bar indicator that my capital requirement, requirement market risk is going in red and I might like to focus on that. In the meantime, I can have a look also at the other quarters, giving me an indication how my performance is doing. And again, I'm seeing that my capital requirement uh, market risk indicator is going low. So I might want to compare this with my forecast that I have available in an external file. I'm ticking the button and I'm now guided so that I can create my own little analysis by simply dragging and dropping the metrics that I'm interested in bringing them together and making a very simple graph or analysis myself. Imagine that I want to bring my forecast also embedded into the application. Let me show you how I can do that. I just bring in additional data that I get from an external system or even email or another system that I have access to. I just click it, I create the data set and I join or blend the two data sets together. I can simply create a new calculation myself saying FC ratio. Yeah, I just create my little formula quickly. Here's my new analysis that I created and I now take my graph that I'm interested in and I'm going to combine the new ratio, a percentage ratio together with my Q1 metric per account. And here I can, in just a few clicks, compare my actuals with the relatively performance against forecast that I took from an additional system. This is how easy self-service business intelligence work. Let us go back to the overall dashboards. I'm currently noticing some risk issues over here. So I'm interested to go to my risk credit risk reporting um, dashboard. Over here, you can see the different metrics KPIs that I have. I can tick the individual lines and you can see per time series, the accompanying data being visualized on my top right hand side on and on my low left hand side. I can perfectly get insights exposure at default metrics and on my right hand side you can perfectly see the limit indicators being set by a threshold that i defined myself either in wet being bad green being good or a blank or yellow indicator as you define i can put in comments to all my users or to the people that i want to share my information with and i can again easily bring it to a self-service environment where I can compare the data with additional data that I pick from additional sources outside the application to my needs. A next dashboard that I can use 
is has a geographical perspective. As you can see, I created a very simple insight per continent and I can just simply tick the continent. Imagine that I'm interested in the whisk that I uh, want to see for Europe and I just zoom in the chart or I click an individual country and you can see the data being adjusted. If I even want to have a bit more detailed uh, information, I can go to an individual automatically generated report with credit risk, de risk details, which I quickly open up for you right now. Over here, you see that detailed report where I can change the selection of the data that I want to see. I can, for example, quickly say, I only want to have a look at these types of portfolio, which I click and select to my needs. Imagine I only want to look at banks and corporates, for example, and apply this. And now my data is automatically adjusted. I can set more filters, or for example, I can make a scatter plot or pie inside, adjust it to my needs again. So I can tick over here the different types of analysis that I want to create and to provide me the insights that I'm looking for. Finally, I can go to the far most detailed level, which is the individual transaction report itself that has an overview and I can simply click the individual lines and jump to the section that I'm interested in or use the navigation buttons on my left hand. These navigation buttons easily allowed me to drill down into EMEA, Germany and go to the BP1805 repo section that is now in dashboard view on my screen, all seamlessly and online connected to the individual transactional data types of a bank. Connection online via an in-memory system to the individual transactions. This is what we can do with SAP Business Intelligence for the banking sector, consol consolidated dashboard at managerial level, being able to seamlessly drill down onto the individual transaction level, making selections for the end user possible at any time, and also making it the end user possible to easily blend with information like forecast, for example, from external systems. Many thanks for your attention.